Okay, I just wanted to uh, quickly review this flashlight. Try to make this brief. It's uh, a tactical A1. It uses two uh, standard camera batteries, the CR12 or the extra long one of these ones. Uh, what is it called? Eighteen six fifty. This is actually a rechargeable one. What's pretty cool about this one is it has a USB plug right on the end. Uh, your standard uh, phone charging one, the micro, I think that is. So just plug in there, and it'll be a little LED light when it's charging. It'll flash. Once it's fully charged, it'll be solid, a little blue LED, so that's nice. That comes with it. Uh, this comes apart, and the center piece is reversible, so that you can have your clip either direction. O-ring seals. Nice knurling. Very strong clip. I've used this on my hat. Actually, it's kind of it's almost too long for a hat just because of the weight and whatnot. But it does work. It fits, as you can see, just just the right length there for your hat. Uh, it is heavy though on a brim so you have to make sure your hat's on good, but it does work. Uh, it has a selection switch on the side which I quite like. A momentary and full-on switch on the back so you hold it and it'll be on. Alright, press it on off and it'll save the last setting other than SOS. So if you have it on high, you shut it off, it'll turn back on high. The switch is uh, delayed, so you have to press it quickly to go through the settings. If you wait more than a second, it'll go back to the lowest setting when you press it. So low, medium, higher, highest, SOS. Like I say, it'll save your last setting. So I put it on medium, shut it off, turn it on, it's on medium. Put it on high, or higher, let's see, highest, okay. Shut it off, still on it. So that's the nice feature. Um, yeah, it's a really nice flashlight. I I definitely recommend it for the price. I think it's uh, under $30. This is the A1 model. They make a few different models. I think this one goes up to about 600 lumens. So let's uh, do some distance here. Uh, end of the driveway, about maybe 100 yards. Maybe, no, that's, that's like 50. So the trees right across the driveway there. This is think oh and it resets to the first setting when you press it you have to press in quick succession to uh, change to the higher settings so one two three four five and if you if you wait more than a second it'll start back on the low setting so that's low higher high highest and then SOS So there you go, back on low. Let's take a walk down here to the driveway. End of the driveway here. Even low is about a hundred lumens on this, I would say. You see the dog there. Okay. 
so let's go uh, find my switch okay oh medium higher highest SOS Ah, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So as you can see, it has pretty good flood. On the highest beam, you can pretty much see pretty well for about, oh, 100 yards. Of course, the camera has a hard time focusing in the dark here. Once I stop, it'll probably... So the trees down there at the end are about 100 yards. So you can see what kind of... It's about a, the main beam is maybe 30 foot wide or so. Okay, so I also wanted to show you, this does have a strobe feature. You, tr you hold the selection switch and it goes to strobe and strobe is high. So we got low, or... Oh, it goes up back to high, and then strobe, low, medium, medium high, high, SOS. And then if you hold the button, it goes to strobe. Actually, a really nice strobe. And back to high. I wonder if it goes back to the last setting you use. So let's go medium and then hold it for strobe. Yeah. Works pretty good.